Hi, we're at BZRJ. We're doing uh, a mental health here. Uh, good trip. I'm with PG. Hi, friend. <laughs> with Zara Hernaes, and we're back. I'm PG Hapitan. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. May buntag. Hi, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Good Trip with Arnel Doria. Of course, it's just me and Peachy today. So Arnel is on vacation. Correct. So we're taking over for the morning, and tomorrow and today we'll be talking about things na medyo hindi pa natin masyado familiar as yes. Filipinos. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So Peach, ano ginagawa mo ngayon at ano pinagkakabisihan mo? Well, um, for now. Yun pa rin yung mga pinag-iikot-ikot ko kasi natataka yung iba but parang saan pa ba Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao. So um, actually, I'm helping out dun sa uh, engineering firm namin. So we do design, build, operate, maintain yung mga water treatment facilities. And this is also um, a good thing for me kasi hindi na ako bumalik sa employment. Correct. Oo. So ikaw ay... Magpo-post tayo today sa biyahe ni Tikay. Oh. Uh, so, we'll talk about the things naman I do. No? So, yes. lately I've been doing a lot of mental health awareness and intervention talks sa mga different companies. Kasi ngayon, ako rin ay hindi nag-work sa kumpanya. Yes. Pero, I've been very active with my mental health advocacy. Um, Ibibiscuss natin ngayon mm -hmm. yan. At kung bakit importante ang mental yeah. health. Kasi napansin namin, lalo na na we came from um, corporate, no? Nagtatrabaho mm -hmm. kami dati. So, marami rin talaga ang dumadaan ng mga mental health issues sa yes. mga nagtatrabaho or kahit sa bahay, mga kabataan ngayon, kids. Mm -hmm. So, ilan yan, Peach? Um, In the workplace? One out of six at ang ko. Correct. One out of six in the workplace. So, yung mga office mates natin, mga katabi natin sa opisina, sa factory, at iba pa, may abaka naman kasi... Hindi po sila aware about Oo, this. at meron silang pinagdadaanan. Mm -hmm. So, today we'll be talking about that. And before that, I'll tell you, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a psychologist or a psychiatrist. I'm a mental health first aider. So, ano yung mental health first aider? So, Peach, kung meron tayong first aid, yes. diba? Pag we have a physical ailment mm -hmm. or nagkasuga tayo, meron rin nag-first aid pag meron tayong okay. mga mental health issues. So, ikaw ang, kumbaga, ikaw ang una natutulong bago dumating ang mga experts natin, ang mga doctors at psychologists. So, basically, parang ano, halimbawa, Kasi, it's difficult, no? Parang, ang saan mo yung pagkahibaw na, yun, yung you need help, how would you know na, ah, depression na pala yun, mga ganun, Correct. diba? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not something na parang, yung pagdating sa mental health, hindi naman kasi ganun ka ano yung campaign dito eh, mm -hmm. especially with the culture, with the conservative. Conservative, o nga, ka ng, alam mo na yung Pinoy, mm -hmm. um, daghan, kaayo, marami tayong mga, names na pinatawag sa mental health issues, di ba? Yes. At ay yes. mga iba-ibang mga tawag na usahay or minsan nakakasakit mm -hmm. sa ibang tao or nagkikreate siya ng stigma. So, yung mga tao, takot na sila makipag-usap about their issues. Baka kasi tawagin silang, anong example natin siya? Krum krum. Oh. Yan. Kung ano-ano na lang. Alam mo naman yung Pinoy. Kung ano-ano lang pinaggagamit yes. na mga labels. No? Or, Kaya parang takot sila mag-open up about... Um, correct. Yung... Kasi ayoko naman tawagan ako ng friend ko, ng nanay ko, ng patatay ko. Tawagan nila akong, uy, nababaliw na. Mm -hmm. Or krum krum siya. Or praning. Mm -hmm. Or loko loka. Mga... Nabuang. Nabuang. Mm -hmm. oh. Which actually does not at all describe kung yes. unsa ang ilahang gi pagdaanan no o anong pinagdaanan nila or kung unsa gid ang ilahang uh, condition i'm just curious ano syempre hindi naman tanay mili ng race or ng age no pero 
yung gaano ka bata yung mga ano yung sa experience niyo may teenagers din talaga marami mm-hmm. um the bulk of uh, people going through mental health issues now are at the age group na 15 to 29 years old that's pretty young Globally, yeah, 15 years old to 29 years old. That is, that's the bulk of our profile, no? Na mga tao na dumadaan ng mental health disorders. So, pag sabi natin mental health age, usually kan English, eh, hindi ko kasabot, mm-hmm. no? This will be sabot, this will yeah. be understand. So, bottom line, mental health basically means kalusugan ng ating pag-iisip, health ng ating pag-iisip, or health ng ating utak, no? So basically, kung ikaw ay you're able to cope with the mga normal mga stress sa kinabuhi, no? Mm-hmm. mga stress sa life, like ikaw, nasa stress ka, ako, nasa stress ko, lahat ng tao nasa stress. Yeah. Kung ikaw ay you're able to be productive and maayos ang iyong pakikitungo sa ibang tao at ikaw ay nakakatrabaho na maayos and nakakaya mo ang mga problema sa buhay, then you're mentally healthy. Malusog ay yung pag-iisip. Hindi ka na-overwhelm. Yeah. So, marami naman kasi yung stress. Anong stress mo? Ngayon, ano, yung pag tinatanong ako, kailan kayo kakasal? Oh my God. <laughs> that's true. Oh, wow. So, that's what, that's what you call a bad stress, di ba? Pag tinatanong oh, ka, yeah. Oh, magbe-baby ka pa ba ulit? Or yes. kailan kay kakasal? Oh. Yeah, that's that's stressful. Pero ang tanong ko, kung ikaw ay kinasal pitch, mas stress ka pa ba? Or stress pa ba ito? O hindi? Hindi ko alam. Ay, kasi hindi ka pa kasal. Ako, oh. married na ako. Pag happy ka sa married life mo, edi okay, pero Ayun ko lang, kasi meron akong ibang kilala na mas stressful yung buhay nila. Correct. Actually, okay, coming from a mommy, no, and a married woman, yeah. and I'm actually very happy with my husband, who's very yeah. supportive. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Ay, hi, Mark! If hi, Mark! Uh, ano, uh, listening. Kung ano-ano lang pinag, ano, he allows me to do anything I want. <laughs> Nakalubuhan. So, di ba? Mm-hmm. Kaya ng stressful pa rin. Mm-hmm. Um, may asawa at may mga kasal at parang ano kung ikaw ay walang kotse at nagko-commute at nagjijip at nagta-tricycle at mag-MRT araw-araw stressful mm-hmm. pag ikaw ang may kotse ikaw alam ko to you're a car girl mm-hmm. kung ikaw ang may kotse stressful ba oo kahit pa ano stressful pa rin kasi yung kita niya may traffic yung mga ugali ng mga kapwa driver natin dito Mm-mm. Road conditions, ganyan. Maintenance ng car, gastos, gas gasolina. May Correct. Yeah. So, ang ating utak kasi, Pitch, hindi, siya ma- hindi niya alam kung mm-hmm. good ba yun na stress okay. or bad siya ng stress. Okay. So, stress is stress. Yes. Kung, baga, kung ikaw ay nahihirapan, nahihirapan ka at ang utak mo ay nasi-stress, no? Or uh, may pinag- pinagdadaanan yung utak natin na nakikipag 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 problema so huwag man nakibaw atong brain speech kung nakabakay auto or why auto di ba nakikita yung mm-hmm. brain no pero ang iyan nakikita lang ang stress ra so ang atong utak usahay huwag nakibaw nga na sobraan na di ay na overwhelm na so ang problema our brain is actually controls our whole body. Yes. Diba? So, ma-affect ang yung kaana. Oo. Oh. Mag- Mukmuk na lang ka, maghilak-hilak sa oh. small corner. Kaya ang imong brain mo, man ang mag-controls sa imong emotions, sa so, imong function, ano, yeah, imong paglakaw. Mm-hmm. Muna pag ka nang kumahaglok ka o heights, di ba ka, or ka na mga taas na lugar, matataas na lugar, mahaglok ka, hindi naman alam ng brain, hindi alam ng brain mo na dapat ka matakot. Yes. Pero hindi alam ng paa mo. So, yung brain mo, nagko-control ng paa mo. So, nanginginig tuhod mo. So, affected talaga yung sleep mo, yeah. yung appetite mo, di ba? Correct. Correct. So, that's how important our brain is. And that's how important mental health or kalusugan ng pag-iisip natin is. 
Pero meron na tayong tawag natin mental health disorder. Iba din yun. Hindi na siya yung murag, ay, yung problema ako sa mga utang ko, paano ko kapayaran? Hindi naman siya ganun. Sa mga love life na mga toxic, ganun. Normal. Hindi, <laughs> yun. Tama. Normal naman na mag, ano ka rin. Mm-hmm. Mga problema. Normal maging sad. Normal, oh, normal maging... Yeah, it's, it's really, ano, kumbaga, part siya ng, ano, syempre tao ka eh, may emotions ka, ganun. Oo. Oh, oh. So, kung nag-ghost ka, parang si Bella Alonzo, at nasad ka, normal yun. Pero kung sobrang tagal na at sobrang naapektuhan na pati trabaho mo at buong buhay mo at hindi ka na kumakain, yeah. hindi ka na lumalabas, mahirap pala yung pag-parent ka, no? paano yung mga anak mo niyan? Pag ganun, di ba? That's just it. You really yeah. have to check on your children. Mm-hmm. Kasi alam mo na ngayon, hindi na sila masyado nagsasalita kasi chat-chat na lang, text-text na lang. Facebook, Facebook. Yeah, well, so, face to face masyado. As a parent, kailangan mas observant ka or nagtatanong ka talaga, kumusta yeah. ka na? Mm-hmm. You know? How are you? So, we were talking about mental health being kalusugan ng pag-iisip. Mm-hmm. So, mental health disorder is kaguluhan ng pag-iisip. Disorder, dili siya. Diba? Okay. Wala siya order. So, so nakaka-affect ko talaga siya ng emotions mo. Kung saan na siya ka lang, there's a period of time na parang alam mo na, ah, yan, disorder na talaga yan kasi nagsasuffer na siya for like, ano ba yan, ilang weeks or years, months. Correct. So, we were saying, normal ba yan? Mag-sad ka. Mm-hmm. Normal. Mm-hmm. Kung ako ay namatayan ng aso, ako ay malulungkot. Yes. Iiyak ako. Mm-hmm. Malulungkot ako. I will grieve maghaya ko, magbinilubog pa na nako as in, I, you know, I really love my dogs, no? But, if more than two weeks na ako na hindi talaga na ako nakakabangon kasi sa sobrang iyak ko at nalul- oh, 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 nag-a-isolate na ako. You know, mahirap eh, nag-a-isolate. Tapos wala akong kinikwentuhan. Wala kang gana parang for life, no? Like, wala kang ano to go on and and even probably brush your teeth or yeah, do anything at yeah. all. If you get really affected, that's what happens. And right? then you probably maligo or nothing. You just don't want to do anything. Yeah, or you don't have anyone to, to talk to. to. That's the difficult part now. Mm-hmm. You, when you don't have anyone to talk to and you don't have anyone to make sure that... Kaya, alam mo yung parang ikaw, because you're a very good friend of mine. If I go through something and you know that there's something wrong. You're the type of friend who will go to my house. Yeah. Correct? Birahon mo, birahon ko ni mo. Oh, yeah. You'll I pull do. me out and you'll tell me, Zar, lumabas tayo, magkape tayo, manood tayo ng sine, mm-hmm. whatever. Oo naman. Yan. Bilin ko nga kung ayaw mo pa magpahila kasi hindi rin kita kaya, baka buhusan pa kitang tubig. Correct. Exactly. That's the kind of friend that we need when we are going through something na hindi mo na talaga kaya. Kailangan mo ng friend ano na... Lang talaga, no? yung, okay, you just need someone to listen, to talk to. Yung hug is very helpful, ha? Huh? Correct. So a hug is very helpful, really being there, supporting mm-hmm. them. Kay, sa sobra ka problema, for example, ako mo lang yun, si Bakula yun. Mm-hmm something happens to my dogs, di ba? Kung, kung, uh, kung ako magka-problema ng ganyan, then you will really pull me out of it. You need someone who will help you, support you, pull me out of it, kahit matigas ang ulo ko. And you will be there and you will be patient. The same way, if something happens to you, God forbid, I will be in Tarlac. Girl, I will, I'll be there. I'll be pulling you out of it, I'll help you, I'll bug you, I'll sleep at your house. But, the thing nowadays, lalo na sa kabataan natin, kasi sanay sila na chat na lang, ang mga kaibigan nila. Sa social media na lang sila nagkikita. Sa social media na lang sila nagkikita. Hindi pareho sa mga panahon natin na kumakatok tayo sa mga bahay ng friends natin hindi na sila, wala na bang human yeah, connection? Iba yung, uh, tsaka yung mga interaction nila is 
Siguro mag-online games sila. Unlike sa atin, talagang totoong games yun. Pantero, yung mga ganun, diba? Uh-huh. So, it's so different. Or tambay lang sa bahay. Yeah. Yeah. Oo, so, iba na ngayon eh. Puro na lang online games. I have nothing against that, mm-hmm. actually. Pero, yes. maganda rin na makikita nila yung mga friends nila. At, mm-hmm. man, as humans, we need it eh. Yeah. Kung ang baboy niya, namamatay kung yung partner niya nawawala. Diba, nalilungkot sila? Mm-hmm. Animals. Yes, they get sad. They also get depressed. Probably. And they die. Yeah. Oh, ano, kasi may mga ganyan din na ibon, di ba? Yeah. Na mga, so bagay, kasi partnership talaga. Penguins. Ito. Yeah. Dolphins. So, lalo na yung people. Yes. And yeah, sometimes we, we forget. They, we really need that interaction and um, that's why ako, I have a daughter and I'm very happy if um, her classmates actually go to the house. I like it. Or they go to the mall and they watch a movie or they watch a movie in the house or... Yung talagang nag-hang out talaga silang totoo, no? Oo. Hindi yung chat-chat lang. Oo. Correct. So, kailangan talaga ng tao yan eh. Um... Pangalawa, pag mayroon kasing pinagdadaanan ng tao mo, yung pag-chat lang or text, madali lang magtago. Yes, oo. Oh. Mm-hmm. And then you can just put a mask on it, di ba? Correct. Yeah. Madali lang magtago. Pag gayaan mo, oy, alis tayo, punta tayong wherever. Madali lang mag-text, ay hindi ako available, ay wala ako sa bahay. Or dead ma, sinja, sinja. So it's so easy to hide if it's a text. Pero pag nasa bahay na, mesh, mahirap. Ano yung mga um, other tips na pwede natin ma-share sa ano? Or yung tingin natin na nabawa sa observation ng certain office mate? Kasi parang may ano yung colleague ko, ha? may problema. Ay, ano yung gagawin nila? Parang kakausapin nila? Correct. Or meron silang... Okay, pwede yeah. mga, correct. Pag hindi na nila kaya agapan, talagang ano talaga, depressed. Mm-hmm. So they really have to go to, like, um, what, clinic? Or, a doctor, yeah. Uh, ano? There's nothing wrong with actually going to a doctor, you know, like a psychologist or a psychiatrist because they're actually doctors like your pediatrician. Mm-hmm. Yung iba kasi parang mahiliya na ano, di ba? Oo, ma- yun na nga. Kasi alam mo oh. naman yung Pinoy, di ba? Pumunta ka na psychologist, psychiatrist, meron ka yatang, ano, baka naman there are therapy sessions, sessions for this, yung talagang counseling, di ba? Yeah, they oh. talk, there are therapy sessions, merong cognitive behavior training na tinuturoan ka nila to cope or yes. to not get overwhelmed with your problems or your stresses. Kasi, yun na nga eh, hindi lang naman yung stresses mo yung mga masasama, no? Pati mm-hmm. yung mga normal, mga stress sa buhay. Yeah. And, of course, pag sobra na, kasi meron tayo kasi yung tawag na um, chemical imbalance, no? Neurobiochemical imbalance. So, sabi ko nga kanina, yung utak natin, mm-hmm. it controls our whole body. Pag meron tayong maraming stress at problema, Peach, mm-hmm. our body automatically helps us. So, may mm-hmm. chemicals sa utak natin mm-hmm. that will help you okay. overcome these problems. Pero pag ikaw ay sobrang daming stresses at hindi ka naghahanap ng way to make yourself less stressed or wellness no mga mm-hmm. ngayon ang tawag natin ngayon yan uso yan ngayon eh mga wellness self love mm-hmm. self care yeah. oh kung hindi ka naghahanap ng way na ikaw ay naalagaan mo ang sarili mo then bababa yung mga chemicals sa utak mo or ito yung mga glands or mga chemicals sa utak mo bababa yan so parang kotse pag bumaba yan at wala nang laman, mm-hmm. hindi ka maaandar. No? Yung utak natin, yung emotions natin, hindi na umaandar. So talagang nag-breakdown, no? Yung Correct. Ba, pag, ano? Another way to replenish no, these chemicals in our brain 
is basically sleep. Mm, okay. So these chemicals only replenish, I think, from 10 to 2 in so the morning. So na lang kaysa ikain ko ganon. <laughs> yeah, actually. Diba? Oo, matulog ka na maaga. Mm-mm. So, di ba pansin mo, pag meron ka pinaproblema at matulog ka, pag gising mo, parang everything yes. feels, it feels yeah. a little better. That's true. Parang magsakot-sakot ka, pag ito, gusto na ako. Just sleep on it. Mm. So, so, yung mga katawan naman natin can cope normally. It's just that, ayun rin, yung mga tao, hindi na rin naman natutulog. So, paano mm. mag-replenish yun? Mm. Meron tayong mga nagtatrabaho sa mga call centers, na gabi ang duty, so hindi nakaka-replenish. Kasi 10 nga lang ng gabi, tsaka hanggang alas oh. 2 ng umaga. Eh. Meron tayong napapasobra sa Facebook or online parate sa gano'n na oras, so hindi na nakakatulog, so hindi din sila nakaka-replenish. So, if you have office mates, no, or meron kang kasama sa, sa trabaho, una, tanungin niya sila. I think it's yeah. the cheapest and the easiest way to help somebody who's going through something is to ask them, how are yes. you? Kumusta ka yan? Uy, parang okay ka lang. Mm-hmm. Ngayon kasi, wala na tayong paki masyado. No? May wala. problem. Oh. They don't bother to ask you how you are. So ask them because generally, um, una it's for free. Yes. Secondly, you don't have to be best friends with them. Mm-hmm. You just have to talk to them. And then if you do talk to them, dapat hindi ka judgmental. Oo nga. Ang hirap tayo yung iba hindi sila makapag ano, kwento. Or hindi na sila magkukwento oh. kasi nag-re-react ka muna. Kahit sa bahay, ganyan. Kahit sa trabaho. Kahit, kahit sa ang mga anak natin. Mm-hmm. For example, sasabihin ng anak mo, Ma, um, uminom kami kagabi. Siyempre, kung yung anak mo, bata pa lang, di ba? Uh-uh. Siyempre, kung ikaw ang nanay, ang unang reaction mo, galit. Uh-uh. Ano? Uh-uh. Uh, ganyan. Di ba? Galit. So, you act first, you react first, you get angry first, you judge first, before you actually talk to them and listen to them. So, wag mo na mag-react. Mahirap, no? Oo, mahirap. Lalo na pag-anak mo, no? Oo, oh, naman. Naisip ko nga, paano kaya yun? Like, in your case, paano ka mag-react? Kasi, alam mo, part yun ang parang pinapractice mo yun, eh. Practitioner, yeah. kumbaga yeah. ka sa ano, yeah. diba? And then, oh nga, how do you become, like, um, what do you call that? A mental health first aider. Parang, ano yun, and decide ka, you take also these seminars and workshops. Yeah, yeah correct. So, um, I had to take a certification, mm-hmm. which is not available here in the Philippines. But I think the DOH, good thing we have Republic Act. Yes. 11036, no? which is the Mental Health um, Act. Na it was rolled out last year. And um, the Department of Health is doing trainings now mm-hmm. to help other people. So, wala ka naman talagang tawag natin superpower kung ikaw ay mental health first leader. Yung baon mo lang, pasensya, mm-hmm. pangunawa, no? understanding. And it's a lot of just listening and not reacting and just understanding the person's situation and not judging. And it's difficult if it's your own family and it's your own friends, most especially, because your tendency is really to react. So if it's my own family, I step back. I keep quiet, I listen, and I step back. Because otherwise, lalo na sa mga bata, no? kids nowadays, or actually kids in general, even when we were kids, mm-hmm. if your parents will react and get angry right away, the tendency mo, hindi, mo, hindi ka na magkakwento. Oh. Like what's going ito. on sa school if they got bullied or peer pressure, yung mga gano'n. Tapos ngayon, <coughs> napansin mo yung may mga gender, ano pa, crisis yung iba because of this, yung, yung sa CR. Uh, Oo, oh, mm-hmm. iba yun. <laughs> so, exa- that's a good example. If they get bullied in school, no? And then sasabihin nila, 
Sampai anak mo, sabi niya, ma, binubuli ako sa school. Yung reaction mo, usually, masuko. Masuko. Galit ka, di ba? Bakit ka magpapabuli? Mm-mm. Para ako naman hindi ko anak. As pa, alam ko. Alam ko na to. Ichigo, if you're listening, I know your mom so well. Diba? Para naman hindi kita anak. Sino ba yan? Pupuntahan ko. Aawain ko yan. Bawa, bawa, bawa. So, the next time it happens, mm-hmm. hindi na yan masasalita. Kasi baka magwarla-warla ng mother sa school. Mm-hmm. Diba? Monster mom na. So they would rather just keep quiet instead of trying to find out bakit ka na bully. Um, Parang sa kanila, magkaka-issue na naman. Bangit, mm. banggitin ba? Okay, ikaw pa may kasalanan. Ang bata pa yung, may, yung binuli pa may kasalanan, di ba? So instead of asking, instead of stepping back and asking questions like, bakit ka na bully? How did it make you feel? Di ba? Paano natin isusolve yan in a way na komportable ka. Kasi kung may pag-away ka dun, eh di lalo siya ibubuli sa school. Kasi, oh, ano, pakampi kayo tayo yung mami. Yung bullying pa naman, hindi lang ang school. Minsan hanggang pagtanda mo, hanggang sa, ano, place of work. Sa trabaho, di ba? Oh, or or sa trabaho. Lalo na if you're working and then you tell your parents or your friends and they're like, ha, ba't ka ganyan? So, Don't react. You listen to the situation and then help them in a way na they are comfortable with it. So as a mental health first aider, that's what I do. I mostly listen to their concerns and guide them to make sure na they feel better. Pero na pa simple. Diba? It's a lot of listening and it's a lot of understanding. So in 2004, 4.5 million actually were diagnosed with depression here in the Philippines. So that's our DOH figure, no? So, so that was like 15 years ago. Or so right? kung isipin mo, maram na yun. More than double, I diba? guess. Oh, so that was 15 years ago. But the DOH is actually doing a new run kasi meron na nga tayong mental health app, mm-hmm. no? So ngayon, gumagawa sila ng bagong study and they're also, I think they're doing a new survey. It's a good initiative. Correct. Oo. So, ganun kadami. Hindi siya uncommon. Mm-hmm. Kasi one of six nga eh. So kung magpipingin ka sa mga office mates mo, isa dyan. Mm-hmm. Dalawa. Yes. So kung grupo kayo, 20, at least two. Mm-hmm. Diba? Two or three or going through something. So, it's not uncommon. So, if it's not uncommon, then we shouldn't be scared of We shouldn't be scared of it. Yes. And we should really just simply go to a doctor and ask, oh, well, maybe someone can help me. Or go to your friends and family members and say, maybe you can help me. Bakit mahirap mag-ask ng help sa family? Yung feeling ko kasi yung iba, parang they just um, brush it under the rug and it's like, you know, you can shake that off. It's, it's, they don't really take it seriously. Yan yung one. And then two would be, <clears throat> may natural suspension of judgment talaga. Yun, part ng, ewan ko, pagiging Pinoy ba yun or ano ba yung kulturang yun. Parang, masyado ka namang sensitive, masyado ka namang, yun ka namang lala ba? Di ba? Sobrang ang kaka, oh, iba na yung buwan na mga reaksyon bitaw. Oh. Okay. Ay, kanya ay. Kaya bisaya mag-git ng Doha pitch. Hmm. Okay. Um, I will say, because I've been here in Mala for 20 years, no? Kung bisaya ka, dapat strong ka. Oh, yeah. Di ba? Mm-hmm. Oh. Mas tough. Tough sila on their kids. Hmm. Kung baga, ang style sa ako hang akong amahan sa una, kung di ka kiba mo lang mo eh. <laughs> ilabay kay tumo ilabay ka tumo sa tunga sa dagat no itatapon ka sa gitna at bahala ka sa buhay mo ganun yung style eh. so um 
in as much as sabi nga nila character building mga imun ana or nagpapa mm-hmm. strong ng loob minsan babantayan mo rin kasi pag hindi na natin napapansin na affect na yung bata eh. mm-hmm. no so pag sila ay dumadaan na ng mga kung ano-ano mga bagay again sabi nga pag matagal na siya medyo nagtatampo sa iyo at napansin mo na may na hindi siya nalulumbay siya then check 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 on your kid mm-hmm. at na-affect na yung mga buhay niya or studies niya yeah wala na siyang energy ganyan hindi na siya makatulog hindi na siya makaconcentrate yung mga ganyan so pansinin niyo na kasi a lot of us always say yun nga sabi mo ay papapansin lang yan mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. ang tanong niyan pinansin mo ba Right? Because we always use that yeah. term. It's such a Pinoy term. Nagpapapansin. Uy, KSP yan. Oo. Oo. Nagpapapansin. Ang tanong, oh, you always ask, I always tell the parents, because I do counseling, no? I always tell the parents, so pinansin mo ba? Diba? Did you try to find out? Or, yeah, did you try to find out kung unsa iyahang pinapapansin, kung sa iyahang um, binadaanan, why are they doing that? So, it's always something that we have to check on. Kay, usually, may yung nagpapapansin, pero automatically, wala man sinin mong ipapansin. Mm-hmm. Wala man sinin mong ipapansin. Or very short na yung attention na nabigay mo, parang wala. Kamusta? Parang ganun lang. Tapos wala na. Mm-hmm. Hindi yung parang inalam mo talaga. Okay, generally, feelings or how you feel is very difficult to verbalize, no? Or lisod yes. i sulti kung unsa imuhang pinagdaanan or what you went through. It's very difficult to talk about it. So kung lisod siya for us as adults, mm-hmm. if it's hard for us as adults, lalo na pagbata. So, And we really have to make sure that ano, you check on them. And their tendency would be to say, nga nung ako, pagbata na ako, huwag mong ganit ko, Ana. Or, mm-hmm. you know, when I was a kid, yeah, you compare yeah. it to your own self. And then you say, I didn't go through that. Ako nga nung bata ako, wala may yung ani. Correct. Ano. Wala ka. Kinaya ko yan eh. Bakit hindi mo kaya? Oo. The thing is, hindi naman tayo pare-pareho. Mm. Oo. So, hindi naman tayo pare-pareho. Tsaka nagpalaki sa'yo, nanay mo at tatay mo. Ano palaki sa anak mo? Ikaw. Yeah. So, your child was raised differently you were raised differently so they cope with things also very differently so we always say uh bakit ako hindi ko ako dumadaan ng ganyan so iba naman kasi yung stresses mo eh so pinag-usapan natin kanina yun know, may chemical change tayo sa utak dati naman natutulog tayo alas mayroon pinapatulog na tayo ng parents natin eh ngayon Diba? Oh, ano ko? Ginagawa wow. natin nung bata tayo, nanonood na naman tayo ng TV. Tsaka pala patulog pa nga sa hapon eh. Sorry, what? Pasi. Hindi, tsaka hindi tayo, I mean, we don't have those gadgets actually or yung mga pastime nila ngayon na, ano? Hindi, diba? Social yung news media. ngayon, ah, usually yung last show sa TV, news. Mm-hmm. Diba? News. Dati alas may ba yung news na? Wala, wala, Late wala, night wala. show, 10 o'clock. Ngayon, uh-huh. yung news, alas 11. So, ang later, they sleep later, and they, plus, they have pa gadgets. So, iba-iba talaga. There, it's different. The coping is different. Another thing, no, aside from the chemical change in the brain, no, parang hindi natin na replenish ang mga bagay sa utak natin na 
nakakatulong sa atin to be healthy in our uh, head or in our brain. And the stress that we go through is genetic predisposition. So, meron talagang iba who are genetically prone or kumbaga naslahi nila na they get depressed. So, minsan, it could be that and the stresses. It can be the chemical change and the stresses. Or it can just be all stress. So, iba-ibang reason. So, pag may marinig tayo na depressed siya, it's usually a mix of all. Mm-hmm. Hindi lang isa ang rason. So, we can't blame the person for going through that. Hindi natin siya pwedeng sabihin na, oh, kasalanan niya yan. Hindi naman niya choice yun. So, nakamahala pala talaga yung ano, no? Hmm. Just like everything else. Yeah. You can't blame the person. You really can't. You can react to things very differently. And you can't blame the person. Hindi naman niya choice yun. Baka choice. Baka sino ang gusto na malimpot? You don't choose to be unhappy. And a lot of people say, nasakit mayaman lang daw. Mm-hmm. Do you believe that it's sakit mayaman pag meron depression at mental health disorder? <laughs> well, to some extent, siguro yung perception lang sa mga bagay-bagay kaya nasasabi ng iba yun. Pero, I don't think so. Kasi, lahat ng tao talagang may pagdadaanan eh. No matter how Ang hirap mo kasi yung hanong subjective eh. Sa iba kasi, it's a big deal. Mm. Then to some, because hindi ganun ka, tindi yung EQ, medyo weakling sila. Mm. Sorry, pero di ba? Iba talaga. So, I think, to each his own, may kanya-kanyang ano talaga yung level ng, yung sa tolerance ba? Mm. Some are really quick to recover, they can cope up, pero some are, Hindi lang talaga ganun. Medyo may pagka-slow, but I don't think we should, ano, parang mas maganda tulungan yung mga taong ganun. Yeah. Diba? Kaysa pulling them down. Ano na nga eh, diba? Ano mo pa? Ako personally, una, I think people say it's a bit mayaman because mental health is in English. <laughs> Bito. You know, oh, you know, that's why I always say, when, I, when I'm, I'm giving a talk, no, I always say, it's kalusugan ng pag-iisip. Because it's more understandable. Mm-hmm. And apart from it being in English, the thing is, usually it's caused nga by things na like lack of sleep. Mm-hmm. Sabi mo nga, mm-hmm. may gadgets naman yung mga anak natin. Mm-hmm. Siyempre, yung iba wala naman gadgets. Oh, oh. Natutulog rin naman sila ng maagwa. Hindi naman sila nakakachat. So, umuwi sa bahay yun, nag-uusap sila. Yung exposure din sa kung ano yung environment at ano. Wow. Contributing factors kasi talaga yung ano. Pero, yeah. So, they have more interaction. Mm-hmm. Lalaro pa naman sila sa nang patintero eh. Or yung mm-hmm. ibang mga bata na may mga kung ano-ano mga bagay-bagay. Gadgets, gadgets, and computer, computer. Oo, so, hindi naman sila nag-interact masyado. So again, we still need that human interaction. We need people to talk to us. Real people, like you. Mm-hmm. you know, somebody you can touch, somebody you can hold, and someone na uh, tumatawa lang kayo. So it's really important that we, we check on them. Because no? it, it really affects not just the person, it affects the family. And then, kung sasabihin natin na, oh, nasa utak lang yan, that's true. Because it also affects your brain. In fact, kung matagal ka na na may pinagdadaanan at matagal ka na na may mental health concern, it actually changes the physical structure of your brain. Diba? Yeah. Diba? Yeah. yeah. It really oh, changes. I'm, I'm learning a lot, ha? You're learning a lot, huh? You're It changes the white matter in your brain. Diba we say the mm-hmm. brain is like gray and white matter? Yes. It changes the white matter in your white matter in your brain. So, it changes. change. 
So parang sabihin mo um, liver cirrhosis. Alam natin to eh. Pag ikaw ay napasobra sa inom at kung ano-ano, mga fatty food, yeah. at magproblema ka sa liver, nagpapalit ang ating liver. Yes. Uh-huh. Diba? Pag ikaw ay smoker, umiintim ang ating lungs at nahihirapan siya. At ito yung namamatay rin natin siya. Ganun rin. Ah? Mental health concern. Yung problema, ah, no, it's not actually a problem. It's a good problem as well. Mm. Now kasi, we have already mga MRI, EEG, nakikita. So, yeah, they scan it. Just, uh, yeah, they can now see, nakikita na sa hospital kung ano nangyayari sa utak natin. Dati kasi, panahon natin, wala namang ganun. It's super mahal. Mm-hmm. True. Yeah. Sa panahon ng parents natin, lalo nang wala, di ba? So, hindi nila alam na mayroon pala talagang physical ano, change sa utak. At meron pala talaga, nakaka-affect pala talaga siya. But there are people, I think, that they don't know they are depressed. Admittedly. Yung parang may, meron na pala silang low-grade depression. Parang oh, oh parang there. feeling nila na ano, parang hindi, I'm, I'm fine yung parang ganon. Correct. So if you ask your friends, kumusta ka na and how are you? You also ask yourself, kumusta ba talaga ako? Mm-mm. Masaya ba talaga ako? Or masaya lang ako kasi meron akong bagong laruan. Meron akong bagong boyfriend. Boyfriend. Or meron akong bagong kotse. Or meron akong kinakain na masarap. So, tanggalin mo lahat yun, masaya ka ba? Di ba? And then you ask yourself. The same way, or pag maligo ka, di ba pag naligo ka at nakatingin ka sa salamin, you're naked, mm-hmm. wala kang damit. Nothing. That's you at your raw, mm-hmm. raw state. You ask yourself, am I happy? If you're not happy, you ask yourself, why? Maybe you can talk to your friends and your family about it. Na maybe um, hindi ka merong kulang sa nangyayari sa iyo. Or you count your blessings. Yeah. Dapat talaga grateful ka rin eh. That's very important. Yeah. You count your blessings. You ask yourself, oh, I'm not happy because ganyan. But. I have a loving family. Yes. I'm not happy because I probably don't have millions and millions mm-hmm. in the bank. But, I'm not happy. So, you really have to... Napaka important yung positivity, no? Yung like, you know, dun ka talaga sa good vibes na side, think positive, kesa sa... Lahat na lang may nakikita kang mali or negative. Yung may mga ganun din kasi na ano eh. Mm-hmm. Di ba? Mm-hmm. So, and that's why you guys learn to appreciate din. Even if it's like yung the smallest of things. Mm-hmm. Kasi yung iba parang overthinking or overanalyze ng mga sitwasyon or mga ano, di ba? Or like, hindi po siya nangyayari. Tapos kung ano-ano nang worry, ano, mga anxieties kasi yung nag-build up eh. Ang gago ganun tayo eh. Di ba? Yeah, uh, and us, we kind of think like 10 steps ahead of mm-hmm. everything. So it really, it, it worked for people like like you in my life, no? and I don't have anyone to talk to. Malira, paano na lang yung iba? Wala talaga. And I've, I've met a lot of people who don't have anyone to talk to. They don't have anyone to share these things with. So basically, yung reasons nila is, ano, parang, meron talaga silang fear of, parang, ano yung pag-open up. Kasi I'm sure they know some people in their life, pero hindi lang talaga sila comfortable ba. Mm-hmm. And that is why I'm very, um, I feel very passionate about the mental health um, situation in the Philippines. Because as Filipinos, we're not used to talking about our feelings. Yes, tapos yung iba walang acceptance, alam naman nilang yun yung talagang nararamdaman nila na ano, di ba, parang maulaw pa Jude, mm. wala namang masama, di ba? Mm. Oh. So ako, moan agad ko, okay ra, kung lalaki ka, yung mong feeling, hindi ka macho kung makipag-storya ka o tao, manakay, mm. 
the agian or may ka mauwaw ko or nahihiya ka and it's all pride then I'm telling you okay na kita man tanan may lagi ka nga kanang common siya there may lang ko if dili ra ikaw ang naay giagian there are 300 million people who are living with depression in the Fili- oh, in the Philippines in the world mm-hmm. now so it's not just you you're not alone so it affects them eh. it really does and then especially our kids and then ang scary part is kung ma-affect na kasi ang bata or ang tao they it makes them do things that yes. are harmful to them yes. physically oo kay so hey wala namang you feel trapped oo nagbabalitaan nga yan eh like yung iba magrebelde maglayas mm-hmm. or there's this um, magbibit sila sa ilang regular talabang nas na mga misbehaviors mga ganun Mm-mm. or ma- meron tayong tawag na non-suicidal self-injury kana bang mag kana ganun yung mag um, las-las yeah hindi ka man las-las na, oh kana mag, mag, uh, mag, mag inflict of pain or inflict of pain lang. or mag sinusugatan nila yung mga sarili nila that's what we call non-suicidal self-injury so we have to remember to see our children actually not even children pero in yeah. general na makikita mo ang sitwasyon nila makikita ba natin na bata ba sila some are just ano yung mga regular na mga yung iba employees or malay mo kapit bahay mo lang ba yun or ano mm-hmm. or we forget mga no? good nga our kids are still kids mo ano mm-hmm. We usually say na, ah, sanay na yan, okay lang yan. So, we have to see them as the kids they are, di ba? Or, if they go through something, pinapakalma ba natin sila? Or do we make them feel secure and safe sa sitwasyon nila, whether sa bahay or sa, pina- or sa pinagdaanan nila sa school? So, those are three things talaga. You try to make them feel feel safe and secure, you make them feel calm or you soothe them and then you really see them na bata siya, meron siyang pinagtadaanan at kailangan niya ng gabay or guidance from the parents. Huh? So, we forget. Kasi usually, may mamadali tayo, di ba, busy sa work, mainit ulo natin. So, we tend to forget that um, these are still kids. Para bang ano, no bata ka, naiwan ka ba na parents mo sa grocery? O sa checkout counter? Yung pag... Mm. Oh, and then meron silang kukunin. Ah, kasi yung ito. iwan ka lang sandali, CR lang ako, ang kukunin. Oo. Ano. Natry mo ba yun? Natry ka na yun eh. Na-stress ako. Iwan ko, siguro. Kasi may tahi ako dito, nahulog ako sa escalator eh. Baka yun. Kasi di ba kung may kasama ka, hindi <laughs> ka naman mahuhulog ng ganun. Hindi, pero na-try mo na naiiwan ka, wala kang pera. And then, di ha lang kapit siya, nakukuha ko nga ito. Medyo malaki-laki na ako nun, nung na-try ko yun. Ay, na-try ko, bata pa lang. Oo. Oh. Or, ang kinabahan ako, kasi wala akong ibabayan, di ba? Yeah. And ako na ang next, mag, ako na ang next sa linya. Hindi mm-hmm. mo na lang pinauna, nandun ka lang, nag-antay ka lang talaga. Oo, oh, kay naiiwan na ako mama, oh, kanina lang ka, kuwat lang ka. Pero na, ma-stress ka, di ba? Oo, oh, kasi hindi mo alam um, what will I do. Oh, Oo, and the thing is, sometimes kasi the parents take for granted this little situation. Mm-mm. Kasi ang um, napansin ko, maraming dumaan na ganyan eh, na sitwasyon na naiwan sila, na na-stress sila. Hanggang ngayon naalala nila na, oh my God, naiwan ako ng parents. O kaya rin nakalimutan ka sa si school. Stress yeah. school yun. Oh, Ikaw na lang mag-isa doon. Ikaw lang isa, and then para sa mom, pagdating ng mom at dad mo, parang dead ma bells lang. They forgot. Parang nakalimutan niyo ako, parang gano'n. Di yeah. ba? May ano yun eh. What's so, important so, is what you do after. So you have to make them, you see that this is a child who was left in school. Oy, sorry. O ganyan. Pakalmahin mo. You know, how did it make you feel? Sorry na if I made you feel stress or ano someone also stress kahit sa napakaliit lang na bagay like for example um yung bata na oh wag ka na kumain yan kasi ang um, tabala mo na yung mga ginagana uh-huh. diba it's uh-huh. like kinda 
Hindi naman siya parang domestic violence. Pero medyo <laughs> emotional. <laughs> medyo. Uh-uh. Yeah, I've, I've noticed that. Kasi siyempre naman kayo mga pag-umangkor, mga puan bitaw. Yeah. So you really have to remember to reassure them mm-hmm. na safe ka pag kasama kita. Whether it be physically safe or emotionally safe or mentally safe. It's a safe space, lalo na sa bahay. So kung meron mang dapat safe na lugar para sa mga anak mo to express themselves and be themselves, dapat bahay. Mm-hmm. No? Yung trust and yung ano. Because the world is a very cruel place. So let us make sure that your home is safe. So always make sure that they're okay and ask for help. Kung hindi mo na kaya as a parent and as a, a human being to help other people like your family members. Saan sila pwede friends? pala mag ano, pag ganon? Halimbawa, kasi I'm sure meron, ano ba yan, organizations or... Ayan. So, una, oh, diba sabi ko, you can always go to a doctor. Yes. You can always go to a doctor and they can refer you. Uh-huh. Or you can call the Philippine Psychiatric Association at 635, this is here in Manila, 9858, and ask them, where is the nearest psychiatrist now you can visit? Or... Ah, okay, so they also have free services. So can I share this pala? Oh, okay. So, mahal naman mo at Dr. Peach. Oh, oh, mahal, mahal mo, Dr. So later, i-post lang namin to, but there are free services like sa Philippine General Hospital, UOPGH, <laughs> Psychiatry and Behavioral Medicine Department. So, ano to? Second floor, Ward 7. I'll, I'll, ano, mamaya yung numbers. And then, what is this? The wait is long. So, talagang, ano ha? Maraming tao. Marami. And there are a lot of hospitals already that are, like, um, this one here, East, East Medical Center. They're also doing free services. Mm-mm. So, there are a lot of hospitals that are offering medical services na for mm-hmm. mental health. So another establishment is yung Among Rodriga, uh, Rodriguez Memorial Medical Center. So ano to OPD, Acute Psychiatric Unit. Mm-hmm. Kaya pala yung ibang tao ayaw nila yung mag ano no? kasi may <coughs> sensitive sila ng mga ganyan. Yeah. Yes. Kay pag sabihin na oy psychiatric unit or din din sa ano sa Mandaluyong. So they offer free basic non-intensive psychiatric services. Yeah, so they do counseling and they assess you. Oh guys, this is in Sumulong Highway, San Antonio Martin, among Rodriguez. So there are free services. There are services for less than 500 pesos as well. Um, we can post that later on our Facebook. Yes, yes. Na. Also, yung <clears throat> National Center for Mental Health na hotline. Saan sa DOH? Yeah. So there are also crisis hotlines. So ang tawag natin yan, uh-uh, mga crisis hotlines na pwede kang tumawag and you can talk to them and at the same time pwede ka oh, okay. So um mabigs pala ng oras kita pa na lang sa si Ate. Uh, I would like to um thank you Zara for this and we will also share meron din pala sa ano no this is in Cebu siguro para sa mga Cebuan. Ang tawag pag Laong Centro Bisaya. Mm-hmm. Um, we are about to end na, so final words daw. Ayan, our last final word words. is to make sure that you check on people and especially your friends and family and make sure that they're okay. That's the first thing you can do to help them with their mental health mm-hmm. or kalusugan. Baka may babatiin ka pa. Ako gusto ko lang mag-congratulations and best wishes sa... Uh, Accounting staff ko, si Wilfredo Alayon. Ikakasal ko siya mamayang hapon. Hindi na ako umabot, umuulan. Andito pa ako sa Manila. <laughs> and then, um, I'd like to thank everyone. Salamat, Sir Arnel, for for this opportunity. Sayang, wala rin si Dali. Dali is uh, also on vacation break. So, I guess we will see you guys. Baka may iba ka pang We will break. see you guys next time. And then, I'd like to say hi to Ichigo. Kapitan. And my husband, of course. Mark. Yes, hello. Hello, yeah. hello sa my ano, daughter, Bea. <laughs> sa mga fans club ni Sir Arnel and Dali pala. Mm-hmm. Okay. You will okay. see Arnel Doria on the good trip next time, no? Next Saturday. week, Saturday, yes. 8 o'clock.
que 